Down the car park steps, down to the white beach, down to the black clumps of seaweed stuck up through the sand like hair from a buried head. Heavy, flattened, green-brown leaves glistening above some submerged and dreaming sand-filled head. With mainland behind, point of snoozin' left, scraggle of sea road right, and then straight North Sea, and the two of us caught between in the sound on the perpetually wet causeway, the tide calm but always calmly coming. Water shredded slightly, lightly rippled, water terraced and layered by hard wind and the slow assurance of certain tide, whole forests of silken tangle swaying to the pulse of algae, moss, and immersion. Shelves of rock, tiered roadway into the sea, terminating not long after we'd left, into undertide, into simple surf, simple sea floor and abundance in deep, and coated over with sheet and wave and song. There are only doors here on the brow. The glazed windows are all in the grass, bits of glass that once let you look out. Now only doors, now only entrances, now only perpetual exposure. No exit or escape from the wind. My feet on gravel and sand, silenced by the unending complaint of air. And the weakening cliff, glancing down on the great scarred shelf, naked under the sun. Looking like farmland carved and rutted by rolling knives and great bladed wheels. And I sat in one of those houses, one of those houses without windows, those lone houses now barely foundations. I sat where there were no longer walls and imagined opening the door of morning to that cold, to that howl, those scythes of white clouds over the blue, the blue which rushes behind the wind and steals the cliff edge year to year. Pictish houses already vanished, down the old throat and whirlpool of ruin, the Norse houses we wandered, nearly there, and the devoured walls barely to my knees, all weathered but somehow unweary, and standing as any standing stones. The strangeness of the Scottish flag there, incongruous to the sea-facing streets, the smithy, the sauna, the paved hearth, the warmth and steel of generations. Lives unlike ours, lives of basic green and brown, slow but lacking relaxation on the edge of hunger and safety. This slope by the sea, far from leisure and far from want in its brutal need.